Hello. My name is Ruby Rose. I'm doing a Q&A of questions that you guys ask me. Off Instagram and Twitter, hopefully they're not too crazy. I haven't checked yet. All right, so let me check. Now we begin. All okay, right, questions. When's the album coming? Soon. Hopefully summertime. I'm going to be putting out some singles, some visuals. In the meantime, some features. My favorite thing about making music is like being able to tap into like an alter ego. Because as you guys can see, I'm like pretty calm and normal. A little crazy. But in my music, I'm just turned up. It's the other side of me. So that's probably my favorite thing. And like inspiring people because believe it or not, some girls look up to me for whatever the reason may be. So giving girls confidence and stuff is good. Um, what happened between me and no, we're not answering. I'm not answering any questions about that. So let me just skip, skip. What keeps me motivated? What keeps me motivated is knowing my potential. So every day I wake up, I want to be smarter, nicer, stronger, just everything all around. I want to be better. So that's my, myself as my motivation. I'm gonna do a full workout routine video probably later. My zodiac sign is a Libra. I was born October 2nd. Um, I was about to say, I'm just gonna give some like background stuff about me because I know, yes, I'm officially single. I'm sorry, I just saw that one. But all right, let me just give some background on me. So my name is Ruby Rose. I have a last name, but my real name that I was born with is Ruby Rose. My mom's favorite color was red, so she named me and my two sisters colors of red. I'm East African, I'm Eritrean. It's the country next to Ethiopia. Nipsey Hussle is from Eritrea, Tiffany Haddish. And me. Um, let me think. I was born in Lexington, Kentucky. I'm from Kentucky. Um, I lived there for a large part of my life. I went to private school. I went to the Lexington school. I cheer, cheer. I was a cheerleader and I ran track, but I wasn't just like a raw, raw cheerleader. Like I can tumble, and throw passes, and do tricks and stuff, all that. And then I ran track. I was a hurdler. Very fast, very speedy. Very athletic. So no, you're good. You're good. Um, and then. I used to live in Switzerland, in Geneva. So I moved there when I was like 10. I stayed there for a year with just my older sister. We went to boarding school and stayed with my cousins. Um, and then I moved to Atlanta. So <clears throat> I wanna include, is this even a Q and A? I'm just telling you guys about me at this point. I'm gonna answer some questions too, but I need to, a lot of people don't know. I don't know, maybe y'all do know, but I'm gonna tell y'all anyways. So um, I moved to Atlanta, or Gwinnett, the north side, my junior year of high school. But I'm like, um, I'm a year ahead, like for my age group, like I was able to go a year ahead. So, um, and then I was also, I am intelligent. So I was taking like all AP classes and I was able to do this thing called dual enrollment my junior year and which is like taking all your classes at the college. So I took all my classes my junior and senior year out of college. And then, and then I went to Georgia State and I did like five years at Georgia State, majored in political science, had amazing friends, you know. Then I started, I was DJing, dabbling in music, taking pics and whatnot. But yeah, and then I'm here in LA now. But no, let me think. Right, so let me start answering questions, like in particular. Um, will I get plastic surgery? I've thought about it seriously. Like I went, one time I went to Miami, I was gonna go get my boobs done. I flew to Miami, had a consultation with the doctor. And then I was like, I was gonna get it. And then I was like, if I don't have a car, I shouldn't be buying fake boobs. At this time I didn't have a car. So I'm like, let me get my priorities straight. And I put that to the side. But now like, I'm, 
I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes it's hard, especially with Instagram, like it's hard to like be okay with your natural body because you see girls with like the perfect hourglass, big booty, big boobs, teeny belly. It's hard, but you have to remember, I don't know, it's to each its own. There's nothing wrong with plastic surgery. Probably after I have kids, I'll, I might get something done, but I think it's important because nobody really, I mean, some people talk about it, but like you have to love yourself naturally. As lame as it sounds, you have to really love yourself. Like I wanted to get my nose done because I have like a hump in my nose. A lot of East Africans have that, but I decided I need to love myself and keep my bump in my nose. But I also broke my nose, so it like got worse, but you need to just love yourself. It's hard. Look at yourself in the mirror and say, you're a badass bitch and I love you, all right? All right, more questions, let me see. <clears throat> Sorry, my phone locked. Is me and Crystal finna collab? I'm down. I wanna collab with people on YouTube. I'm completely down. Oh my God, no. Okay, 10 minutes. Seven. Okay. okay. I have a laser appointment. I'm a little late. Um, how many bodies do I have? No, I'm not answering that. Coochie size, fat or skinny coochie? What you think? Just kidding. Where do I buy my fits from? I don't know, honestly, just random places. I hate shopping, I hate putting on outfits. Like I wear this, I have so many clothes, but I literally wear like the same little thought outfits because I don't know how to dress myself. I need a stylist and I'm really working on it. So stay tuned, hopefully this year I get it together. My favorite artist to listen to now is probably Little Dirk. I really like Little Dirk. And I like um, The Weeknd and Drake and Little Uzi. It's too many names. I live in LA. I just moved to LA. Um, how did my song Big Mouth blow up? Okay, so like I was posting snippets on my Instagram and like a lot of girls were like, oh my God, this is so hard. When is it coming out? And I was like, well, uh, and then I posted a, a video of me in the studio rapping along to the song and that shit took off from there. And then I ended up dropping it like a week later and was signed the same week I dropped it. To, I'm signed to LA with a hit cut. It's an independent label. They're kind of new. All right. Um, <clears throat> do I see myself getting back with DDG? I said I wasn't gonna answer this, but I'm gonna answer this one, I don't care. Um, no. Um, do I ever feel insecure when I'm on social media? And if you do, how do you overcome it? Yeah. Fuck yes, I feel insecure all the time. Like, if you ever notice, like, I might go on like a break. It's cause I'm like, you ever have those days where you feel ugly? I be having weeks, yeah, I have to push through, but how do I get over it? You just have to, I don't know, just snap out of it. Like, I don't know. You just have to, I don't know, do your makeup cute one day, play some music, light some sage. Something that I like, I'm really big on lights. Like, I don't like, I mean, the nighttime is cool, but I like daytime sunlight. So like, I like to be in the sunlight. That sometimes makes me happy. It makes me overcome my insecurity. Weird, but it does. Um. Or I like to go back and look at old pictures and videos of myself and I'm like, wait, I'm cool. I'm pretty and I'm cool. And then that gives me inspiration to keep trying to be cute and fuck the insecurity. Am I planning on visiting Eritrea? Fudge yes. Um, I used to go like every summer in Asmara, in Masawa, but I haven't been in a while, but definitely now I have some money. I can do what I want. I definitely want to start traveling ASAP. Um, would I start my own modeling agency or clothing line? Definitely. I'm actually about to start signing girls to me like with OnlyFans and maybe potentially artists, producers, engineers, photographers, videographers, all that because it's too much money out here and I need my sisters to get money like me too. Um, my age, 23, height, five, Five, sometimes five six, but I I don't want to be tall. I'm five five, I think. Um, <clears throat> will I get boob injections? 
I don't think there's such thing as Brooklyn Dutch meats. Like, um, my race, okay, so I'm Eritrean, my mom is Eritrean, and my dad is half Japanese and half something else. Like, I don't typically like to say that I'm, like, what's it called, Belasian, because, like, you know how girls in high school would all the time would be like, oh, I'm Native American and Cherokee, and I'm, like, like lying, like saying they're half Chinese and half black, but really you just light skin. Like I'm actually am, but I don't even like to say it for some reason. But um, yeah, I'm half Eritrean. My mom's full Eritrean. I'm first generation. My dad was adopted, and my mom found his birth mom, and she was Japanese, but we didn't find his dad. So that's how this was made. So half. Two more questions. Two minutes away. Two more questions. Two more questions. Oh my shit. Oh my god. Can I fuck, can you fuck BDG? Go ahead, have at it, have a blast. Favorite feature of myself? My favorite feature of myself? Oh. Mm, probably my belly, I have a small belly. Um, am I a barb? Of course. It, I was on a plane with Dwayne, they call me Nicki, but I call Van Jane. Yes, I know every Nicki Minaj song, I'm sorry, I'm gonna ask for like two more. What is my biggest pet peeve? Liars, cheaters. What's yours? Um, do I have a crush on someone? No. Who? I don't even know. I don't have a crush on anybody. I don't even know who my next potential person would be. And I'm trying not to think about it, but it's heavy on my mind. But I don't even know what type of nigga I would ever talk to. I don't want to talk to a nigga in the industry, a rapper, an artist, an actor, none of that. Because I'm about to be busy. He can't be too, too busy. Um, oh, okay, I have to go now. Okay, I love you guys. And we'll do another question and answer. Bye.